state of Virginia. We're still empty. We got everything sorted out about that uh, detour we had to take yesterday. And now we are uh, headed down, what is this, I-95? Down towards Augusta, Georgia. It'll be pretty much a full day to get there. And then uh, from there, we're supposed to have a load waiting for us, taking us back up to Canada. It is 29 degrees Celsius. I am not complaining, but this Canadian is melting and I like it. So we're in North Carolina right now. We're, uh, we're around Raleigh, North Carolina, headed down through South Carolina right away, right to the border with Georgia. Just into Georgia, there's Augusta, Georgia. I just got my uh, information sent to me on that load. That load is going to uh, Headingley, Manitoba, which is West Winnipeg, Manitoba. It's a three-day drive once we get there. It's a preloaded trailer. It's already there waiting for me. It's just a drop and hook. Uh, so much easier than, you know, taking all my straps off, my tarps off, all my equipment off, rolling it all back up, going to get the next trailer, tarping it, strapping it, and then getting going. No, it's just a drop and a hook, and we're gone. I'm enjoying this stress-free existence. I tried the other side. It was great, actually. I love flatbeds. It was a lot of fun. Uh, but it just didn't work out for me. It didn't work out for me. I mean, the people there were great to work with. No problems there. The routes, they didn't go very far and they were all very similar. It was very repetitive over and over and over, which kind of, I get bored. I get bored doing the same thing every day. That's why I don't work in an office. If I wanted to do the same thing every day, I'd go work in an office or go work in a, in a warehouse somewhere or in a manufacturing plant, you know, where you go and do the same thing every day, every day. I like to do something different every day. I like to uh, explore, go further, you know? And it's very hard to rack up the miles when you, you know, you drive a day you sit there, you spend half a day tying it down, tarping it, and you drive half a day, and you spend another half a day untarping it, rolling up the straps, tarping the next loads, chaining it down. It's, uh, the pay is higher on flatbeds, but from what I've sort of seen here, it's kind of balanced out. I don't know. I think in the end, we'll see. Like, let me do this for a few months, and I'll be able to tell you more so where it lines up. Like, I'm not going to tell you exact numbers. I mean... I have a I have a contract and on the pay systems and whatnot. Every company's different, so yeah, the mileage rate is lower on dry vans. You get more per mile on flatbeds, and you get more for pickup and delivery. You get paid to tarp, but in the end, is it really that much more pay to be on flatbeds? I guess it really depends what company you're at, and but I think all in all, it all depends on what makes you happy. The thing that makes me happiest the most is seeing the world around me, seeing these places, seeing Raleigh, North Carolina, rolling down the highway, seeing what this world has to offer, seeing what mankind has built and created and just enjoying it, soaking it all in. That's my favorite part. So doing this makes more sense for me, I think. It's more sense. Out of I don't regret it yet. I don't regret it. Yeah, I'm gonna stay here for uh, the foreseeable future. I'll probably be doing dry vans for years now again. I don't have any plans on changing again. I don't like change. I've tried a whole bunch of different things in my career already. I've been driving since 2006. So <coughs> I've done the local stuff. I've done the dry van stuff. 
I've done the regional dry van stuff. I've done the flatbed stuff. I've done the regional flatbed stuff. I've done the local stuff where you're home every night. And I just haven't tried, I haven't given refrigerated freight a good go yet. That's something I haven't given a good go of yet. But maybe one day in the future we'll have a division. Right where, where I am right now, we don't have a refrigerated division. Otherwise, I'd give it a shot. But from what I hear, it's uh, it's very crazy appointment times. Like you do, you do a lot of nighttime deliveries because it's produce. Very, like, they're really on your back to be on time because you got perishable freight in your trailer. You can't let it go bad or the whole load goes bad. And I don't know who pays for that. And it's a big mess, I'm sure, if it all goes bad. So you got to be on on time like you gotta be on time with all freight but they're a little bit more uh, uh aggressive that you get there quicker with food right and it makes sense so i don't know if i'd enjoy that as much i sort of like the relaxed nature of what i do this is what i did for six years if you guys remember that on the vlogs a while back i did flatbeds now for three years uh, with some regional work put in there and uh yeah i came back to this because this is this is where my heart was i mean what I mean by that is this is what I love to do. This is what makes me the happiest. And you know, you gotta make sure you're happy. You gotta make sure you, you have, a, you know, manage your stress levels. Every job has its stress. Even this has its stress. Gotta deal with crazy drivers. But Britt and I are, are still trying to start a family. We've been having a lot of problems with infertility and stuff. And any added stress on top of that isn't gonna help the situation. So all in all, I think I'm better off where I'm at. Let's keep rolling down the road. I'm enjoying all the greenery around me. Diesel, what do you think of the hot weather? Diesel, did you melt? Are you still there? He's still there. He's good. He's good. Palm trees. Palm trees right there. On the right. Palm trees. Diesel, look at him. Look at him. We've arrived, buddy. That was a lot of them. That was more palm trees right there than I've seen in the last three years combined. We're just coming up to the state border of North Carolina and South Carolina. We're about to cross into South Carolina. Just gotta get across this state and switch trailers and start heading back home. I think I'm gonna run out of hours on my 70 hour clock on the way home though. I was able to get a reset over in Newfoundland there. I sort of split up my videos over a couple of days and you didn't even notice it in the vlogs. But uh, I had a whole day and a half or whatever off in uh in newfoundland there that will get my reset so uh this week i'm running out of hours again i think i'm only going to make it about two-thirds of the way home and i'm gonna have to stop for uh well in the u.s you only need 34 hours to reset of consecutive off duty just to start a new week uh, in canada i need 36 hours so i'll stop for my 36 sometime on the way back it's like driving down a beautiful green corridor everything here is just fully fully in summer mode already especially that big ball of fire in the sky over there Whew, the thing's hot it's still well it's still 26 degrees here celsius it's seven o'clock at the time it got up to 31 today in uh southern virginia and uh, north north dakota it's a hot one. It was full on summer. I got a little bit of a tan today. I wouldn't be surprised if I burnt a little through the windows. And I love it. And look at all this. It's so green. I wish I could take this all back home with me. All of it. Or maybe just come down here. <laughs> Tell you what, as soon as everything gets back to normal. Well, actually, Britt and I, we have some other travel plans in the works. They got cancelled this year because of... Uh, the sickness, the boogeyman, canceled our plans. So uh, we're working on uh, rescheduling, I guess. We hadn't made any concrete plans or anything, but I don't want to spoil it because we still want to go there yet. And I want it to be a surprise for everybody. It's gonna be really cool. Uh, we'll probably end up going in 2021 now. Hopefully by that time, this world is, you know, come to its senses figured this all out and got back to normal. You gotta look forward to something, right? This can't last forever. So I'm 
sad to report that I haven't seen one more palm tree since we saw those, those other ones back there at that business. That was in North Carolina. We're in South Carolina now. We're further south and there's no more palm trees. I don't know where they're hiding them all. Probably heard Trucker Josh is coming. Hide your palm trees. He might come snatch them, take them home with him. Don't underestimate me. I'll take your palm tree. I'm gonna take that thing and plant it in my front yard. I'm the only palm tree in Southeast Manitoba and on my yard. So we still have what? About two and a half hours of just straight driving. I don't think I'm gonna stop for another coffee break before we get there. I've already had two coffee breaks today, so. Maybe one more after we switch trailers. Probably not, I don't know. I usually only have two coffees a day. Extra large coffees, but two coffees per day. One in the morning, just as I'm getting going, and one just afternoon, probably around like one o'clock or so, depending on like when I start my day. Temperature is still a beautiful, balmy 27 Celsius. It's gotta be what, in the 80s in Fahrenheit? Beautiful thing, beautiful thing. Do I really have to go home? Do I have to? I guess so, eh? Oh, easy there, Mr. Aggressive. Careful with Daddy's Beamer. What was with that aggressive lane change? What's the phone? Did I annoy you? Was I going too slow for you? Did I inconvenience you? Did I make you have to go around me in the other two lanes? You know, there's two other lanes over here. God forbid. You have to move over into one of those. That involves a lot of energy, you know? Turning your turn signal on, moving your arms a couple of a couple of millimeters. And I can understand why they'd be upset. Wait, what's this guy doing? Why are you turning in front of me and hitting your brakes? What's going on with people? Did I do something? You guys mad at me for something? What did I do? Alright, everything seems to be fine. Just trying to roll around, roll along, mind my own business here, folks. Just rolling on through. Just gonna grab some freight and go back home. Don't worry. Not here to cause any trouble. Actually, I'm here to bring you some stuff, so... You know? Someone bought some of your stuff back home, so I'm gonna bring that to them. PD State, Farmer's Market, PD State, what's that mean? PD, you see that sign? How fortunate you guys are to live down here though. Like what an awesome place to call home. How lucky. One day, one day when I make it and I become rich, whatever that is defined as nowadays, whenever I get there, I wanna have like a winter home or like a winter seasonal campsite or something down in the south. So when I retire, I can come down here and get away from the cold. Oh, I'll be the snowbird. That's right, still be making vlogs probably. 90 years old. Hey, every day is exciting when you're 90. We're already leaving Augusta, Georgia here. And we have our new trailer behind us. It looks exactly like the other trailer, except there's different stuff in it. We're taking this stuff up to Canada. Somebody up in Canada wants this stuff. Here we go. That took literally eight minutes to switch trailers, sign a paper, and leave. Wow. Eight minutes as compared to, I don't know, four hours. <laughs> so now we're, uh, well, we got two hours left on our clock today yet. So we're gonna get as far as we can, see where we end up. I don't even have time to show you anything of the trailer switch. It was just boom, 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 done, we're gone. This guy wants to come in here, does he? I've got to turn right, right away, bud, so. Turn your signal on, are you turning in here? Your lane ends, so I'm guessing you are. Yeah, yeah, there you go, there you go, see? 
You could have just sped up to begin with, then you didn't have to force me into the other lane. You could have just, you know, used the on-ramp for what it was designed for and uh, merged into traffic at the speed of traffic, therefore not hindering any of the movement on the traffic, or <laughs> on the road, on the traffic. You know what I mean, you know what I mean. I'm trying to be clever here and I'm getting a little tired. I have two more hours left of my day. What, give me a break. Continue on this road for eight kilometers. Nope, we are going to bed. If I can find a parking spot here. We're at the Flying J in, uh, what town was this? This is right between Augusta, Georgia and Atlanta, Georgia. I think it was Interstate 85. There's one parking spot right there. I think I'm gonna turn around and take that. That looks like a pretty good one. There's some over here. I'm gonna turn around and go take that one. Oh, there is one here too. A whole bunch here. Oh, look at this. Oh, these are reserved spots, that's why. Nobody wants to pay for parking. I'm not paying for parking either. 